With most of the runners out of action, Brecken wants the scouts to take their place. That means me. We're supposed to go for the next airdrop, right before sunset. Jade will be showing me the ropes. Yeah, that won't be awkward at all. Crane here. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antizen. fall in the cauldron. So if you start from there, you'll have the best chance of getting to that drop before Rice's men do. I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Most of the drops seem to fall exactly in that area. Nothing here. Did you see that? Yeah, two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. Yeah. <laughs> 
fantasy. It's fresh. Get him. Okay, Get okay. Here now. Jade Rice's men got here first. <gasps> Why? Okay. Look. Don't try to fight them. Just find the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. Don't just cure anything. Anything. Jin, I'm almost there. I can do this. Crane here. I'm about to recover an antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing antizen, destroy it. What? What? Why? It will force interaction with Rise. 
You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no Antis in here. Done? Fuck. Fuck! All right. Get back here, and be careful. The nightmares are awake. Don't let them see. Oh, shit. They must have heard me. zombie during the winter. I, I don't know, and I don't want to know. Try guessing. I made it in one piece. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. It is no picnic. Gotta report to him and tell him I don't have any antis in. Lying to everyone stinks, but I know the GRE is working for the greater good. Come on. I mean, we need Anderson. I know, but buying from Rise? You can't be serious. But for God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. No, we didn't discuss it. You just decided that I'll I... go. Are you serious? Well, this Rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? Could you guys give Crane and me the room, please? You sure you're up for this? It has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. Race's place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece.
Brecken is so desperate he's ready to deal with the devil himself, Rise. And since I'm supposed to determine whether or not Rice is the one who stole the GRE's secret document, well, this is the perfect opportunity. Can you hear me? Jade? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no, it's him. Um... Listen, Crane. We all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. Because Amir died saving your life. Look, I'm doing it because if we don't get antis in from Rice, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know him for that long, but... He was the best, most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. I, look, Jade, we'll talk when I get back with the Anderson, okay? Okay. Just, just come back in one piece, all right? Okay, Rahim, I'm here. Make sure they see you and know who you are. You don't want to sneak up on them. That's a good way to catch a bullet. Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. You're going to need it.
Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hands up! What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole on the tower? All right. What does he want? I've come to make a deal. <laughs> what kind of deal? The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. All right. Let him through. This ought to be entertaining. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. That is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. Left. <laughs> Was that my left or your left? You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some fantasy. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. I met Rice, and Jade's right, he's a psychopath. He's also the GRE's rogue operative. Now I've got to cooperate with this piece of shit. Not only because of my mission, but also because he's got a ton of antizen stockpiled. There you are. I said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. And if I do this, I'll get the answers in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Or number one flunky at the very least. Kareem's sending me to fix some antennas for Rice. Nothing better than being an errand boy.
Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No. He thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal, so Rise can communicate with outposts at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. Perhaps. But the Emperor must monitor his empire. Kareem, I'm at the first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. Because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. Not a bad reason.
Shit. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck, I was afraid of that. All right, head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. What do I do if the second transmitter's trashed? The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably, die horribly. Cream him at the second antenna tower. And the fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei, and probably his son Christoph. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. What the fuck do you want?
this fucking climb was worth it. still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem. Second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. 